hello 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 and thank you for tuning in to my channel living life for the culture with ty also known as tawana yvette that would be me <laughs> and today i am sharing with you the top five questions that you must ask before you make that relationship commitment are you ready are you ready <laughs> And I'm back. Number one. <laughs> Number one. First question. Let's get right into it. No need to delay. Ask that person on your first dinner date. Doesn't matter. You're grabbing a latte. Whatever it is. Right? Doesn't matter. Number one. How do you know when you're in love? Look them dead in the eye. That's right. You'll wait. How do you know when you're in love? If they cannot answer that simple. Have them explain it. Give you the details. Oh, for sure, there are details. And for each one, I will grant them this. Everybody has different feelings, emotions, thoughts, on what true, and I do mean true, love feels like, when it begins, when it ends, okay? So, all answers are gonna be different. There is just no one answer. However, that answer has to be the answer that suits you well. Put it in the comments, put it in the comments what you think those answers should be. That's number one. Now let's elaborate on that, number one. Number one, should go a little something like this. I want to spend more time with you. Mm-hmm, that's what you want to hear. I want to spend more time with you. I think about you night and day. Right, right, I think about you night and day. I want to go places with you. I want a future with you. Maybe not marriage, okay, let's not, let's not jump the gun. Let's slow it down a little bit, let's slow it down. Let's bring it back, let's bring it back. However, those are the things you wanna hear when somebody actually knows what being in love is. They know it, they'll know when they feel it, they'll know how to express it, right? Because that leads me right into number two. Number two, what will you do differently when you're in love? Mm. So I'm going to back it up for some of you. Let's reel it back a notch. Okay. So I already know there's going to be questions on what if I don't hear none of that, Mr. Wanna? <laughs> what if I didn't get those answers on what they would do differently, knowing that they're in love, and I got none of those answers you just gave. I got something more along the lines of, uh, oh, you crazy girl. <laughs> no, okay. Issue number one, stuttering, okay. Number two, pretty much ain't saying nothing. It's a lot of holler, ki 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 ha ha What, why are you saying, what you even talk about? You know, no, mm -mm. okay. Number three, they just avoiding it all together. You thirsty? You ate yet? Those are not the things you want to hear. Or, those are the things that suit you well. What you're going to find out in asking these five questions is a lot about who you are. Not just the person you posing the questions to. The questioner, okay? Not just the questionee. Everybody gets a reveal. You got me? Soul searching, you feel me? So you're gonna hear either the truth of who you are, okay? You're gonna hear also, okay, the truth of who they are. No, this ain't a one-way street. Everybody gets put on blast with these questions. How do you know that? Let me tell you how. If you laugh back with the person that's laughing and kiki and but they haven't given you no answer, and five minutes have gone by and they want to know if you thirsty, if you want any more snacks, 
and you okay with that? You skip it like they skipped it? That is a reveal for who you are and what you're okay with. Now, if that does not sit well in your spirit, you paused and couldn't believe that they could not answer that question or question number two, then you realize, okay, number one, who you got sitting in front of you, and number two, what you're gonna have to do with who you have sitting in front of you. You're gonna have to make some decisions, okay? Do we stay or do we go, okay? Are we riding or are we parking this, right? So, number three. Okay, let's keep it going. Number three. Ooh, we I gotta walk down here by this water. But hang on. We're gonna get right to number three. Y'all go grab a snack. And remember to come back. Shout out to Wendy Williams. Anyway. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little noisy though, but it's gorgeous. So hang on. Let me just get a second down by this water. Hang on, y'all. Hang on. Y'all stick with me. Hang on just a second. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? All right. Number three. Right? Number three. Number three. Ask your uh, would-be spouse. <laughs> would be long-term, right? Number three, what was the worst situation you have ever been in? Have them explain that to you. If you're wondering why you would ask such a question, here is why. Let's keep it simple, right? These are simplified, soul-searching, stutter-worthy questions. Number three, the reason you're asking that question is it defines where this person has been, what type of debacle they have been in, and I'm gonna give you number four in here in just two more seconds so you can follow through with this as well. But again, pause, give them time, because they're gonna need it, to answer the question and elaborate, okay? Elaborate. What was the worst situation you have ever been in? It's gonna tell you a lot about that person. What type of ish? Yeah, you need to know that. You need to know that before y'all continue, okay? On whatever path you're trying to roll into with them. I, yeah, I don't know. Where you headed with that? You looking for just friends, friends with benefits? What you looking for, long term? You looking for marriage? You looking for babies? I don't know, I have no idea. However, still, you wanna ask these questions because you're going to find out who you're rolling with, okay? And that's what this is for, okay? It's imperative. Do this for yourself, you owe it to you. You're gonna learn a lot about this person. It is a true reveal. And it's a reveal without revealing what you're actually after. It doesn't quite specify, and that's okay. Because the point is to make them comfortable in the situation, answer the questions, and you're gonna learn a lot. You're not trying to intimidate them. You're not trying to, you know, do you want kids, okay? That's, the, I mean, yeah, you can ask that question, but everybody asks that question. Everybody says you should ask that question, you know? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I mean, this is not a damn, you know, interview. This is not employment. So, number four, what did they do in reaction to the worst situation they have ever been in? What did they do? Simply put, remember, simplify. What did they do? This is not only gonna tell you how they think, it's gonna tell you how they approach situations, okay? Remember, this is the worst situation they've ever been in. It's going to tell you how they reacted. It's going to tell you, did they use common sense? Were they practical? Did they just fly off the handle and go all ballistic, right? Are they violent? Did they put hands? Well, I mean, listen in. You're listening and you're learning 
to who you are about to commit to for whatever the commitment is you're trying to commit right again I don't know only you know that put it in the comments if you're comfortable enough to share was it a just friends with some benefits you know be honest it's okay it's all good we're, we're adults here okay was it someone you was looking again more along the lines of long term share be honest were you literally looking for a spouse you were wanting to get married this is what the date was all about for you so remember put it in the comments number five let's go ahead and get on to it it's a good one it's gonna lighten up the evening it's gonna lighten up that Starbucks it's gonna lighten up that lunch okay let's lighten it up a little bit you ask next if you were on an island it is deserted okay who would you choose to be on that island with you do pause take your time make sure you got a smile on your face don't don't put on no pressure you know we, again this is not intimidating okay this is not that type of conversation you're just wanting to hear you know the authentic and and, and honest as possible you know and, and you, if you if you make it any more than that typically people are going to not necessarily shy away but they just not gonna give you the whole truth who would you choose to be on the island with you pause give them a minute you're gonna wait when they give you who ask them why it's gonna again be a true reveal soul searching okay so you can hear exactly who you about to be rolling with did they say they mama tells you a lot did they say they children child but only one person child which child who did they say remember this is a new relationship so they're not gonna say you if they did that would be a little bit scary because they just met you mm. hmm. okay so again it's going to share with you exactly who you about to be rolling with put it in the comments let me know if y'all could work with these five okay because you should be so thank y'all for tuning in thank you for watching remember the top five questions you must ask before you jump okay before you commit into your next relationship until next time like share comment okay and make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell i will see you next weekend living life for the culture with ty until then y'all stay blessed